Hey guys, welcome to Alpha Pros. Today we are going to see how to perform the electrolysis of urea. This stuff, urea, is basically a nitrogenous waste compound present in your urine. Urea is waste for animals as it is harmful and it is produced as a result of various metabolic activities. But it is useful for the plants as it provides a rich source of nitrogen. So we can basically get urea in the form of fertilizer uh, is the way that actually I got it. It's very cheap as fertilizer. So what we are going to do today is we can electrolyze urea. So I can basically say what is going to be produced. In the cathode you are going to get hydrogen and in the anode you are going to get nitrogen and carbon dioxide. That's because uh, this experiment has already been conducted. So let's look at the materials required. Right, this is all that you are going to be needing. You are going to need some water and this, yeah, urea because this is the electrolysis of urea and the power source. I am going to use this 5 volt adapter for my case. You can use any other power source and a spoon to stir the, uh, to stir the mixture of urea and water and you are going to need something some metal objects to act as electrodes uh, you can use blades uh, nails or any other thing but I'm gonna be using blades as they are very cheap if you want if you don't want the solution to look cloudy uh, then you're gonna use these nails because the stain in the blades used to make these letters gets mixed up with the solution and the solution becomes cloudy and uh, kind of well, it doesn't look nice so uh, but as blades are cheap I'm gonna be using this and the electrolysis rate will be much faster if the area is more so I'm gonna be using these blades right now let's see the procedure so you basically add some urea to a glass all right I'm not gonna add too much make sure it isn't too much all right Three spoons would be enough, I think so. Yeah. Then you add a bit of water. All right. Yeah, I think this much would be enough. So here is a good trick for you. If you want to make sure that the electrolysis rates are high, make the solution as much as less dense as possible and here is a thing that I have done to test how well aware you are. I didn't mention that you got to use a salt that is inorganic in order to make the solution conduct but now I'm going to be saying this this is going to be necessary and this is going to boost the reaction so add a bit of inorganic salt so I'm going to be using common salt or sodium chloride for my case as it is both cheap and easily available in my place alright now stir this properly so that the salt mixes up Well, I think it's done. Alright, now we're gonna see how we make the electrode. So, what we're gonna do is take one terminal and we just wrap it around the blade. So, take a wire, bend it, and wrap it. Just like this. Alright, so one of our terminal is ready. Make sure that you connect only one terminal to an electrode because if two are connected uh, the thing goes short circuit and the electrolysis won't work in this be like this and wrap it around that's it that's it well we've got our two electrodes ready how much we're just a single step away from actual electrolysis so what we're gonna do 
I'm gonna take our Electrola, no, Electrola assembly and connect the power supply and insert it into the uh, solution of the wood. Make sure that the break from the feet to the because as I said, it's going to be a Come on, I'll show you. The blades ain't touching each other and you see the bubbles around this black wire the black wire was cathode and it is producing hydrogen and I, you, can you see, yeah, yeah, I see this uh, black kind of dirt like stuff it's actually the stain gradually they're gonna make the whole thing cloudy so now let's have a look at anode the production at anode is too slow you can just see a little bit of bubbles that's it but you see the cathode it's bubbling too hot around here so let me prove to you that it was hydrogen you're seeing this hydrogen bubble over here when i bring this lighted mat near it it's gonna go pop right it's all this hydrogen so thank you guys for watching me please like comment and subscribe to other